Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne back to do your bonus read. Yes, the second read, the one that we're going to do with a different deck and see if we can get a different reading. But we know spirit doesn't always <laughs> let that happen. Sometimes the energies are so strong that they just keep sending in the same cards. So it's very possible in today's reading um, that people are getting a lot of reassurance about the world they're living in and what they're, what they're heading for and what's happening at the present time. Um, this deck is really big. It is the good tarot. It is one I absolutely love, but it's a little difficult to do one of those shuffles on. But anyway, I made it. Okay, so the good tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Oh, we have jumpers. Okay, so we have the three of cups and the chariot. Very interesting. Uh, the Chariot being the card of Cancer here. And the Three of Cups is a card for me that often... Uh, the traditional meaning of the Three of Cups is about reunion and celebration. So some of you may be coming together with someone who could be a Cancer. Um, but for many of you, this will be around you having some sort of celebration and moving forward from something. So you may have felt very stuck. Um, you may have been very confined where you were. And the universe is saying, just hang in there because we're moving things forward for you. We'll see if they come out in the reading, but I'll give them a little bit of an extra shuffle just to really make sure that I've got them right. Okay. And I'm ready. Okay. Hmm. What do you need to be read? Five of Cups coming through here. I'll pop you back in there because you're way beyond what I'd be reading anyway. Okay, so we have the Page of Cups coming out as your general energy. Now, the Page of Cups is a card that talks about an offer of love. And again, he came out in the What's Cracking reading. Um, this little card here represents Pisces, but I always remember that because of the fish in the cup and there's no fish in the cup. And that just reminds me of the young ones. If anybody ever watched the young ones with Neil and the fish in the bed. But anyway, we're sidetracked there. Um, so this is the page of cups. Behind that, I have the wheel of fortune, which is called the fortune's wheel in this card. Somebody's somebody is coming forward here to make some sort of offer to move you forward. You could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, in particular a Capricorn here. Um, we do have the Queen of Cups behind that, so you could be dealing with a water sign and the Four of Wands. There is stability to be had here. Um, somebody's offering you something to help you become more aligned with your path and to find your own stability here. So there is something definitely going on. Okay, Ten of Pentacles coming out. We are getting quite a few repeat cards, so bear with me here because I feel like the message is a little bit different. The Ten of Pentacles talks about money, tangible things, feeling comfortable in a very material sense, like feeling that you have everything you need. You may even have your own wolf here. Um, but feeling very comfortable where you are. And don't forget, she's one more than the Nine of Pentacles, which talks about having independence. This one has actually picked up the Ace to make it 10. So she's got a brand new start here. She's closing out something. She's got a brand new start. But this cycle, she's starting out with everything she needs. Okay, so we have the Hanged Man coming in here. So someone here is looking at things. Yeah, we've got the High Priestess. Look how beautiful that card is. Okay. And we have the Eight of Pentacles coming in here as well. Someone here is working their way to understanding how important the intuition is in manifesting what you want. Um, I guess what I'm seeing here is someone understanding how to manifest through seeing things in a very different perspective. Um, the Hanged Man often talks about taking time out to see things differently, to understand. Um, and maybe this is a call for people who've let go of their spiritual practices here, because I feel very strongly that I'm speaking to people to say, don't forget 
how important it is to trust your intuition. And I feel that there's a lot of people here who are working on that, but there's also a lot of people who've either put that practice to bed or are not looking at it because you've gone into some sort of waiting space or stagnation here, which means that you may not be moving forward because you're not tuning into your intuition. Now, your intuition is what helps you to work yourself towards abundance. Let's just keep going. Okay, I have the seven of wands coming out here with the three of wands. Aha, okay, and the hierophant. Okay, so there are people here who are about to get some sort of wake up call, some sort of sign from the universe some sort of contact from someone that's going to restore their faith, their trust in the universe and is going to put them in a much more stable place. Something here is going to show you how important it is to trust your intuition and to go with this, the feelings that you feel, the things that you discount because your ego comes in and kicks them away and goes, that's not true, whatever. Um, this is really very deep and very interesting, but I don't want to get too deep into it. But there appears to be something from the universe here, something that your spirit guides, your God, whoever you follow here, is about to send you a sign through perhaps someone, a message, something happening here that's going to make you understand your direction because it's going to make you realize that you should have trusted your intuition all along and you didn't. You allowed your ego to become more dominant and you didn't trust the feelings you knew were real. It's going to bring in a lot of stability here. So we have the five of swords coming in here with transformation. <laughs> and temperance or patience as she's called in this deck. How very beautiful. There's something here that's about to happen in divine timing that's going to allow you to see that what you were thinking, feeling, knowing, knowing a long time was true. That you were not trying to see things from a very different perspective. That you were not trying to bluff yourself. Something is being shown to you here where you will almost, it looks like you're going to almost fall to your knees here and realise that what you knew all along, what was nagging at you, what was there, was the truth. But you had refused to see it because you stopped listening to your intuition because you didn't believe what your intuition was telling you. I feel like it could be a message from someone it could be someone just saying something. It could be somebody inadvertently saying something. But whatever this is, it's going to set you on your path and it's going to give you complete clarity. And because of that, you will now be able to trust that your intuition was right all along and therefore rebuild on a much more firm, secure foundation. And I feel that perhaps you have been stumbling along You've perhaps started to ignore your intuition because you didn't believe what you were feeling, seeing, whatever here was right for you. And it's all going to change. And something is happening quite quickly. Now, I want to say to you, this can create a feeling of instability here because you may stop and think, well, I knew that all along. And it may be such an epiphany for you that it may create a moment where you just either emotionally um, break down, you could, it, it's just going to, whatever this is, it's going to bring you to your knees and not in a negative way. It's reassurance from the universe that what you've been doing, thinking, feeling all along was actually right. And it's coming when it's supposed to come here. So for many of you, this is about getting back into your spiritual practices 
Page of Cups, this is a person bringing something in that's a gift for you. Now it comes with love, so whatever shape, form it comes in, this is the universe showing you that you were on the right track. There's something here with this Wheel of Fortune where I feel that you've gone off track or you've stopped believing or you've stopped following your true path. You're taking on this Queen of Pentacles energy here, which means that you're starting to see something through a very different lens. You're now seeing something as being real, practical. It's there. It's in your face. Um, and it's going to help you understand and tune into your intuition more and listen to the messages you're being given without disregarding them because of your ego. This is something that's going to bring in a great sense of satisfaction for a lot of people because it's bringing in this beautiful stability. Um, and I feel like the timing is right here. I don't think it could have happened at another time. I think there were lessons you had to learn to understand what direction to go in here. Um, there's a very, almost an ethereal feel to this reading. Um, and it may be how you're going to feel when you get this answer um, or this message or this epiphany, whatever it happens to be for you. Um, because there's something here that's coming to you through somebody else. Okay, so first of all, the universe is saying here, you don't have to worry. Everything is fine. Everything's in its place. Everything is where it should be. Um, you don't have to worry. Everything's going to be okay. All right, that's the first thing I want to say to you in case anybody's thinking that, <laughs> that something's going to fall apart in their world. Now, this is really interesting because it's brothers and sisters. And it talks about getting along with others. And I guess this depends on how you see brothers and sisters, whether you see brothers and sisters as just being the people that you are related to or whether you see us as one big family where everybody in the world is connected in some way, shape or form. And I feel this is what the universe is going to. Um, and I think it's a bit of a concept that's hard for people to understand that we're all connected, that we are all part of a greater plan, that we are all one. Um, this is why I think a lot of us have trouble dealing with the isms and the racisms and the, um, the unfairness that goes on in the world is very difficult for us to understand because we understand we're all part of one collective. But I feel like even strongly that something may be coming through someone that you actually feel very close to. So it could be a brother or sister, but it's definitely someone around you who's going to bring in this eye-opening gift or epiphany for you. So I think it's going to be wonderful because you're going to be able to see things as they truly are. It's bringing in a truth for you um, and something that's probably, as I said, going to shake your world a little bit, but it's going to put you on, a, on your true pathway. So have a wonderful day.